Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Blake Corey, and today in our show, we are gonna be talking about the big why. All right, let's get ready. Okay, so in our previous show, we were talking about mission, vision, your passion, whatever you want to call it, and core focus. Now, a lot of questions have come up and they've talked about, well, my why, like the reason I'm doing this doesn't necessarily align with what you talked about, Blake. And I say, well, that that's completely different. The reason your business exists and your big why, two different things. So let me explain, you know, why are you doing this? Well, like I ask people all the time, like, why do you get up so early? I get up at 4 a.m. every single day. I get up at four because I've got stuff to do. I've got my list of goals, my list of whys, you know, like what is my goal and why am I doing this? You know, for me, my biggest is, is my family. It's my wife and my kids. They motivate me internally so much every single day because I want to give them the most amazing life and I want to be there for them. Now, my parents, they worked a lot when I was growing up and same with my wife. My parents' wife worked a ton and we talked a lot about that when we got together, when we were in our dating phase, how we wanted to be there for our kids. We wanted to be able to be at the baseball games and the football games and the basketball games and all the school events. And we wanted to be the parents to be able to go on the field trips. And we wanted to be there, not just be there, but be fully present, be fully engaged. You know, I always tell people this, if you're gonna be at home with your kids, be 100% home with your kids. If, you, if you're going to go on a vacation with your spouse, be 100% on vacation with your spouse. And if you're going to be at work, be 100% here and give it everything you've got. And I, I remind people of that because why are you doing this? Why do you get up early? Why do you work so hard? Why are you trying to make a difference in people's lives? Why, why, why? And if you're unsure, guys, I recommend checking out the YouTube video of the TED Talk with Simon Sinek or go buy the book, Start With Why. Because when you understand the why, both of you and your main people inside of your organization, whew, sky is the limit. Let's take it a step further. What if you could put your why into a vision or a vision board? Like vision boards are important. You know, they talk, they're more based around goals, but they are the fire inside. Like, I wanna live an unbelievable life. I wanna live a 10X life. Well, tell me more about that, guys. Dreaming is one thing, and having a big why is one thing, but being able to communicate it to the world, to be able to actually measure your working towards that, that's different. All right, so, and I know a lot of you guys watching today, you, you've probably heard about this before, you know, whys. You know, you've also probably heard of the term, which Vern Harnish made famous, BHAG or Big Hairy Audacious Goals. As a matter of fact, it was Jim Collins that I uh, that made that famous. However, Vern, Vern Harnish actually started publishing about it and Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, scaling up different books and series, but it's called BHAG, Big Hairy Audacious Goal. And that's your big why, you know, your big, your big vision up there but you gotta be able to scale that backwards and figure out how are we gonna get there? But it's okay to put it out there. You know, for me, I, I put it out there. My BHAG was to affect change in the lives of 10,000 real estate agents, to have 10,000 real estate agents around North America using and operating my system to build a 10X real estate business, man. And that's the thing, that was my why, because I knew if I helped others achieve their dreams, mine would be right behind, mine would never be left out. But I, I remind myself every day with that because the vision board that my wife and I put together that we talked about all the reasons why we do this, it's everywhere in my life, it's, it's on my, it's my phone. My screensaver on my phone. It's, you know, it's not cats and dogs and sports figures or whatever. It's got a picture of my family and it's got everything we're gonna, we want to accomplish in life. It's on my computer at home. It, it's everywhere in as many places as I possibly get it because it keeps this focused. It keeps this focused. And if you got the why in here and you got the focus right here, nothing, nothing will stop you. Now, to remind everyone, I'm, I, I'm a high school dropout, GED. I've been in real estate since I was 19. This is all I know. 
I shouldn't be where I am today, but I had the fire here and the focus here and nothing was able to stop me. And now we have one of the top real estate teams in the country and I'm helping change the lives of tons of real estate agents all over the world. But guys, you can do this too, but you, you gotta light it up here. You gotta get focused here. So start thinking to yourself right now, what's your big why? Like, why do you get up early in the morning? Why do you wanna change your life? Why do you wanna create a massive real estate business? And then from there, once you figure that out why, then start putting together your vision and create them smart. Create them with numbers so you can measure them and you can work your way backwards with your coach or your mentor. You can work those numbers backwards to figure out, hey man, I wanna sell a thousand houses in the next five years because I wanna be able to disconnect myself from my real estate business, never having to worry about my financial resources or the money that I'm making every single year and I wanna be able to spend all the time with my kids and my family. That's great, let's work that backwards, let's figure that out. Unfortunately, for a lot of you guys, you wanna sell more houses than most people around you are doing. So it's hard to have mentors help you guide you there when they've never done it before. But just remember, you got to have a big why. You got to understand like why are you doing this. You know, you may not write that down on all the all the business forms or like even my strategic planning form. We, you know, we have a section for it. We have a bigger section for core purpose or core focus and you know our mission statement. But the big why is what makes that happen. That's the thing. People have great business plans, but it's the why that makes it happen. So if you haven't started to uncover your internal why, you have to do it right away. All right, I hope you guys found this to be helpful, got some use out of it today because I, I want to show my passion and say, man, like this is one of the things that made us successful because I was hungry for it. I had a why inside burning to make it happen. And I hope you guys start to develop that as well. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on today's show. I'll catch you next time.